Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. This is the second video in this video series. So if you have not watched the first video, please do watch it. I'll leave a link in description. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the installation of Prometheus on Ubuntu machine. So I've taken Ubuntu 16.04 machine. So in this, I'll be installing the Prometheus. So for that, so first we need to go to uh, Prometheus official website. So it is prometheus.io. Once you're in that, so you just click on a download then you'll be able to see this particular page so in this you'll be able to see all the products which are from prometheus so we just need to install prometheus as of now so you can just select the linux environment the oss linux and then this particular link gonna will open and this we wanted to download on our machine so just right click open link address and go to your mission duplicate and give the url so this will gonna download our tar file so if i do ls i'll be able to see the tar file now next is uh, we need to untar it tar iphone xvf and then we need to give the tar file name when you do this one so it will gonna untar it and it will gonna create a folder for us okay now let's go into that particular uh, folder so let's see what all things are there so we have many files, uh, console libraries, consoles, license, notice, Prometheus, Prometheus.yml and many more. So Prometheus is executable by which we will gonna run our uh, Prometheus uh, application. So Prometheus.yml is the configuration file. So let's see what, what all the things are there in that Prometheus.yml. Okay, I did a cat on that. So as you can see, so there will be a scrap interval. So scrap interval in the sense like in what time, like I need to scrap the endpoints. So in which, how much uh, time period I need to go to endpoint, I need to collect the data. So my scrap interval is 15 seconds. And then uh, alert, alerting, I don't have any alert managers as of now, but I'm gonna add this alerting, alert managers in the later videos. And then rules rules files. So these are all, these also we will gonna discuss in our feature videos. And the scrap config. So from where I need to scrap the data, like uh, from uh, as of now, so I have only one job. So that means like Prometheus by itself, it will gonna expose uh, endpoint at uh, so localhost 9090 slash metric. So I'm scrapping that particular job right now. So I'm gonna show that actually. So when, when, uh, when I install, uh, when I run this particular Prometheus, I'll be able to see that Prometheus web page, right? I'm gonna show, uh, so what this endpoint means, okay? Now what I'll do, uh, so I'll just run this Prometheus executable. So when I run this one, so it'll take few seconds and it'll make sure my Prometheus is up and running on 1990. Okay. So now I'll go to this uh, the IP address, my, then if I give 1990, so I'll be able to see my Prometheus web page. Okay. So this is what my Prometheus web page looks like. So now if you see, so I've just ran that executable. So let's say someone like uh, this stopped this process. If I exit from this uh, console, obviously this uh, this particular uh, Prometheus will gonna stop, right? So now when I refresh it, uh, this is, I mean, uh, it can't be site can't be raised. So now we'll gonna discuss how to uh, run Prometheus as a service, okay? So for that, what we will do is, the first and foremost step is like, we need to copy all the files which are there in this particular untarred directory uh, to uh, user, so this particular folder, uh, user local print Prometheus. So I'll leave this, all the commands and all the, whatever the commands or whatever the files I'm gonna use in this video, I'm gonna leave this in like uh, the video description. You can copy and you can uh, paste it when you're doing this demo. So now what I'll do is I'll just draw CP iPhone R. So now for making sure, so I'll do a ls on that particular directory. When I do ls, yeah. Now all the files are there. Now what I'll do, so to run any uh, application as service, so we need to have a dot service file in our system D folder. So that is what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just giving VI uh, ATC system D system Prometheus.service. Okay. In inside that, I'm gonna copy this uh, particular block. 
so which says like uh, i need to execute a particular command which is user local bin prometheus prometheus so this is my executable right so that should be executed also i'm giving a config file so which is there at uh, user local bin prometheus prometheus environment okay so let's go ahead and let's save this one okay so now uh, the next command is our service file has been created by using sudo service prometheus start and start our prometheus okay so once you give this one so then let's check the status as well so i don't need sudo because i'm already a sudo user anyway prometheus status when i give this one so as you can see it is up and running so when i refresh that url so you'll be able to see the web page of uh, prometheus okay so this is how uh, if you want to run your prometheus as a service so you need to create file and then you need to uh, copy the content that i've used and then uh, by using the uh, so service uh, prometheus start you can start your prometheus server now if i even if i um, exit from this console so let me close this console so now even if i stop that one you will be able to see the prometheus okay so this is what i wanted to show in this video so Please, uh, if you like the video please share and subscribe uh, thank you in the next video i'm going to talk about uh, i'm going to go through the each tab in uh, the prometheus uh, web page so please do watch that video